You can create awesome things with science and the experiments are never ending. We bet you already know about putting Mentos in Coca-Cola, but today we'll introduce you to brand new experiments that are easy to do and still very impressive. Do you want to make your own frozen inspired candies? Watch this video to find out how. Make sure you click that subscribe button to keep up with our videos. Now join us as we explore 10 awesome science experiments to impress your friends with. Skittles Science Experiment You can now literally taste the rainbow with this cool experiment that's very easy to make with your family, friends, or just by yourself. So if you ever find yourself bored, grab some Skittles and put them in a circle on the edge of your plate. Then add hot water on top and watch the magic happen. The color of the Skittles will strip off and run down to the center of the plate, creating a beautiful looking rainbow. It might take a while before all the colors melt off, so you can either sit and watch as it happens or leave and come back and discover your Skittles created something magical. You can also play around with the shapes or experiment with just a few colors. Put your Skittles in the middle of a plate, create a spiral, make a triangle, or even spell your name. The options are endless. And the best part is this experiment is totally edible. So next time someone argues that you can't really taste the rainbow from the Skittles, you know what to do. Change the color of flowers. You can now impress your friends by changing the color of flowers. This is one of the coolest tricks out there and we can't wait to see your creations. What you'll need are a few white carnations. Cut the stem of each flower, put the flowers in cups and fill half of each cup with water. Then add around 20 to 30 drops of food coloring. Don't hold back, the more food coloring you add, the better your flowers will look. Leave your flowers in the cups for four to six hours. They will drink up the water all the way to the petals and change their color. You can also cut the stem down the middle and put each half into a cup with a different colored water. This will create awesome rainbow flowers that you can give to your mom, teacher, or even someone you like at school. Always remember to cut the stem to make it fresh. Sometimes it can take up to 24 hours for the flowers to absorb the colors, but we can promise you the results will be worth the wait. Paper Marbling There's an easy trick you can use to make simple paintings you can sometimes find in museums. It's called paper marbling and it's pretty cool. All you'll need for this experiment is a tray or a square pan, watercolors or food dye, shaving cream, and a plastic knife. The first step to this experiment is to put a bunch of shaving cream on your tray. Then grab food coloring, sprinkle it on top, and mix it with a paintbrush like a true artist. Take a piece of paper and place it down on the tray. Lift it up and take any excess cream off with a ruler. You're left with an awesome design. You can really take this experiment to the next level by using only selected colors or go for a specific design from the beginning. Another way is to use a stencil. In this case, you press the stencil down on the colors and then put your paper on top. The paper will only pick up the patterns inside the stencil, leaving you with a cool looking painting. Experiment with colors, shapes, or simply create an abstract painting. It is a perfect experiment to do on a rainy day or as a project with your friends. Magical Balloons Okay, this might really seem like it's complete magic. Challenge your friends and say that you can blow a balloon without using your mouth. Here's what you'll need. An empty water bottle, a balloon, baking soda, and vinegar. Take your balloon and fill it with one tablespoon of baking soda. Then take your water bottle and fill it with five tablespoons of vinegar. You can use absolutely any kind of vinegar for this trick. Next, put the balloon over the top of the water bottle and make sure it's holding it tight. Tip the balloon so that all your baking soda goes into the vinegar. What happens next is almost complete magic. The mixture will bubble up and produce carbon dioxide. It's the same gas you use when you exhale, but now you've created it with simple baking soda and vinegar. The carbon dioxide will travel up into the empty balloon and fill it up. This is a fantastic magic trick you can play on some of your younger siblings or use it as a science experiment in school. We promise your friends will be impressed and we bet they'll want to try it for themselves.
erupting Easter eggs. We bet you have some Easter eggs lying around your house right now. You can put them to good use with this next trick. You'll need baking soda, vinegar, an eyedropper, a tray, neon food coloring, and some glitter. Set each egg in a cup and place the cups on a tray as this part might get a little bit messy. Add a few spoonfuls of baking soda to the bottom of each egg. Then mix in the glitter and a few drops of neon food coloring. Fill your tray with vinegar and prepare your eyedropper. Eyedroppers. Infuse them with vinegar and drop the vinegar on the baking soda. This will start an awesome chemical reaction. The vinegar will produce carbon dioxide, which will make the baking soda bubble up and create an awesome concoction. Also hear a fizzling sound and the glitter will only add to the magical effect. This is a fantastic way to experiment with colors and your senses. You never know what to expect. You can mix up the smells by adding lemon juice as well as citrus based fruits. They'll all work for this project. Tornado in a jar. This is one of the coolest and most impressive things you can make with your friends or family. This experiment is very simple and takes about five minutes. What you'll need is a round jar, some water, a dish soap, and food coloring. You can add some vinegar, but this experiment also works without it. Here's what you need to do. Fill your jar with water, but make sure you don't fill it up all the way to the top. Then add approximately one teaspoon of dish soap and a drop or two of food coloring. Make sure you put the lid back on as tightly as possible. And then the magic starts. Hold the jar and turn it in a circular motion. Don't shake it. Do it as fast as possible until you you see a tornado forming inside. You might notice your mixture will produce bubbles. What you can do is add a teaspoon of vinegar and use a spoon to scoop out your bubbles or just leave it in for a dramatic effect. This is a fun project to experiment with food coloring, but the darker colors might produce the best results. You can also add some glitter to make the tornado look even more magical. Glow in the dark magic mud. Here's what you'll need for this experiment. A bag of potatoes, water, tonic water, and black lights. What you need to do first is wash the potatoes and cut them into smallest pieces possible. The easier version is to grind them up in a food processor. Then transfer everything into a bowl. Use the kettle to boil up water and pour it over the cut up potatoes and stir them. You'll notice the water will start changing color. Next, grab a strainer and place it in an empty bowl. Dump the potatoes into the water mixture on the strainer. Here's what'll happen next. After a few minutes, the potato water water will separate into two layers. The bottom will be white from the potato starch and the top will turn into a brown, almost red liquid. Pour the red liquid out. The white layer will mysteriously stay at the bottom of your bowl. Mix your white layer with some water and pour it in a jar. Then shake it for a couple of seconds and let it sit for 10 minutes. The layers will separate again. Dump out the water again and you'll be left with a very clean white, odd looking substance. Leave it in a jar for a day or two and you'll notice it turned into a powder. Grab a bottle of tonic water and use a fork to stir in your tonic water into the powder and create mud shapes. If you turn on the black light, you'll notice that your ingredients are actually glowing in the dark. Heat sensitive, color changing slime. We love slime. You can now make slime that's heat sensitive and changes color as you touch it. This experiment is a bit trickier than what we are used to. Here's what you'll need. White school glue, thermochromic pigment, liquid starch, and food coloring. And here's what you have to do to make this all work. Pour a quarter of a cup of glue into a bowl and add one tablespoon of water. Stir it well and then add a few drops of food coloring. Add three teaspoons of thermochromic pigment and mix it all in. Now Next, add the 1 8 cup of liquid starch and mix it until you get the slime you want. You can use your hands to knead the slime and make sure you mix in all ingredients, especially glue. Knead your slime until it's not sticky anymore and add water if necessary. Then heat up your hands, knead the slime and watch as it suddenly changes color. It's magic! You can even separate your mixtures and use different colors to make it more fun. You can also use the thermochromic pigment on actual Play-Doh and it will create the exact same effect.
Frozen Inspired Peppermint Rock Candy. Are you still obsessed with Frozen? You can now make this Frozen Inspired Peppermint Rock Candy that's absolutely delicious. You'll need sugar, light corn syrup, salt, peppermint extract, and neon blue food coloring. Here's how it works. Get a heavy-duty pan and mix in sugar, corn syrup, and salt. Let it boil on low heat on your stove until it reaches 300 degrees. The trick of this experiment is to leave your sugar and other ingredients on low heat. If you heat it too fast, you might end up burning the sugar. Next, remove the pan from the heat and add peppermint extract and food coloring. Pour everything into a tray lined with parchment and let it completely cool. You might want to put it in the fridge. After a few minutes, take it out and voila! You just made candies! You can cut it with a knife or crack it with your hands to make cool shapes that resemble frozen icebergs. Then call your friends and have a frozen viewing party! Crystal Rocks the last but not least on our list is the most exciting experiment we've ever shared. You can make enchanting crystal rock eggs, and it's actually pretty easy. What you'll need is a couple of empty eggshells, glue, a paintbrush, alum powder, Easter egg dyes, hot water, rubber gloves, and paper towels. First, divide your eggs into two pieces. Add some glue on each shell half. You can use the paintbrush. Then, sprinkle alum powder over the glue. Lay each shell in a cup with alum powder side up. Next, boil one cup of water and add the color palette to the water along with six tablespoons of alum powder and stir well. Make sure there are no crystals at the bottom of the bowl. Pour your concoction over each egg half and set aside for half a day. Next, use the spoon to remove each egg shell from the solution and place them on a paper towel. You just made some magical looking crystal rocks. What's your favorite science experiment you've ever done? Let us know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe for more fun videos. Check out our 10 most fun and useless experiments to waste your time on video for more awesome DIY projects. See you in the next video.